Why are Kenyans the most dominant runners on the planet? Let's find out. Kenyan dominance is so profound that there is no equivalence in any other sport. Not so long ago, nearly every running event was dominated by Europeans. 50% of all top runners in middle to long distance used to be Europeans with only 34% of top runners being African. More recently, Europeans only account for 10% of these elite runners from middle to long distance, whilst Africans now account for 85% a huge proportion, with 55% of them being from Kenya alone. So naturally the question that arises is why are Kenyans so exceptionally good at these middle to long distance races? Part one, lifestyle and cultural aspects that contribute to Kenyans being the most dominant runners on the planet. Most Kenyan athletes originate from one small area of Kenya called the Rift Valley province with the Nandi subgroup producing a rich heritage of international athletes. As you can imagine, life in these rural areas of Kenya are much different to how we would experience in Western culture, especially when we start to explore the level of general physical activity in the population even from a very young age. A study in 2013 looked at 30 adolescent Kenyan children from this province. 15 male, 15 female, the average age about 14 years old. But none of these children were formally trained in running. However, all of them were habitually active the researchers observed that some of these children would walk and run to school every day and some of them would accumulate a total commuting distance of 13 kilometers. Could you imagine having to do a 13 kilometer round trip to school five days a week? I don't think so. Then of course after school, the work wasn't done. A lot of children would then be recruited to help their parents um, around the house, around the farmland. They would fetch water, herd sheep, or farm the land. All of this physical activity really contributed to the amount of energy expenditure per child over any given day. On average, these adolescents took part in 82 minutes of vigorous physical activity per day. Now, just for reference, the National Health Service recommends that we partake in 75 minutes of vigorous activity per week. So these adolescent children are getting in sevenfold the amount of vigorous activity that we would be recommended. In fact, upon testing, the VO2 max of these children by having them run round a track, they found that some of these young Kenyan boys had VO2 max values of over 70. To put that into perspective, a good VO2 max for a young man is 18 to 25 would be 50. And for a young woman of the same age would be 45. I can't even comprehend how these teenage boys can have a VO2 max above 70. This participation in demanding physical activity is a key contributor to the developing fitness of these Kenyan athletes in later years. This likely acts as a primer for future formal training and athletic success. I'll finish part one with a beautiful quote that I found in an article who referenced a Kenyan running coach. To build your aerobic house and to have enough of an endurance base 
to run long distances takes about 10 years. And by the time a Kenyan is 16, they have built their house. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe. In part two, we're going to be looking at some physical characteristics and genetics that allow Kenyans to become elite runners.